Hi guys, we are going to continue the discussion with respect to MySQL and today we are going to discuss a very super important topic which is called as MySQL indexes. So here I'm basically going to teach you about indexes. What is the importance of indexes? You know, what all things we can actually do with respect to the indexes, you know, and practically also I'll try to show you that how you can create indexes. Okay, so let me just go to the theoretical explanation what exactly indexes are. So in indexes, right, and then probably I'll take a very simple example. Let's consider that I have a book which is of 400 pages, okay. Let's consider this is my MySQL book, okay. Now in this particular book, you will be able to see in the first page, you will find table of index, right. You will be able to find table of index in that you will be able to see a lot of topics. Where is the subtopic, everything you'll be able to see like this right all the topics and suppose there is one topic which is called as indexes okay and then you have some pointers with respect to the indexes now now if i want to read this book okay so when i suppose let's consider that uh, i have some knowledge with respect to mysql now i want to revise my uh, i want to revise the concept of indexes in mysql so index topic is somewhere here okay if i don't have this table of index then what I have to do, I have to basically go and search for each and every pages in this particular 400 pages. So I have to basically search out through the 400 pages and finally in one of the page you will be able to find out this particular topic indexes, right? And then I will probably read it. So here what is happening here more time it is basically taking to come to this particular topic. But now since you have a table of index, what you will do, you will just go to the first page you'll see all the specific data. You'll try to find out where your concept is. There will be a page number over here. Let's say it is page number 263. Then what I'll do, I will just go and open the book of 263. I'll read about the indexes over here, complete this particular topic and close the book, right? So what exactly is basically happening with this table of index? With the help of table of index, I am able to retrieve, retrieve this information whatever information i want i'm able to retrieve it quickly right i'm able to retrieve it quickly within no time because i showed you an example suppose if this book was having 400 pages and there was no table of index then i had to basically go and search for each and every page and find out where the topic is and obviously because of this a lot of time will be taking place now just understand in the real world scenario you will be having millions and millions of records in your tables right and probably I just want to pick up some data. So I have to basically write a query. And for that query also there will be a sequential search based on the primary key. Right. Now if we are able to create some indexes over there. Through this specific way we will be able to run that particular query a little bit faster. Right. Now one more thing. See with respect to querying this is super efficient. Right. But if you really want to do some kind of insert or update or alter or alter, right? During this scenario, if you are having some indexes in your table, then this process will become slower. Querying will definitely become faster. Okay, so this is one disadvantage of using indexing. In our later examples, when I'm implementing a lot of projects there, I'll show you in which scenario it is better to make an index here. Obviously, where you really are using a table where you're continuously querying it. That time we definitely want indexing. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see some practical example. So here it is. Create index statement is in SQL is to create indexes in table. The indexes are used to retrieve data from database more quickly than others. The user cannot see the indexes. We cannot see the indexes once it is created. You, you just remember the index name. Okay. And they are just used to speed up queries or searches. Okay. And then finally, you will be able to see note updating the table with indexes take a lot of time than updating a table without indexes. That basically means if you're trying to in do some insert, update or alter query, it will definitely take time. It is because the indexes are also need an update, right? Very much simple. Now, let's go ahead and let's try to do this. So here I'm just going to use my customer database which I've already shown you, I've actually created it, okay? So if I go and show probably my tables, okay? Now, see, after practice, probably you'll be 
able to remember all these things very easily right so next query okay now i will probably use select star from person so i'm going to just use this particular table okay so right now the data is empty now let's go ahead and let's try to see how the index is basically created okay so to create an index all you have to use a simple syntax which is called as create create index and then probably i'm going to use uh, the table the the index name that i'm going to give so i'm going to say index and probably over here i'll just give it to city underscore name okay so i am basically creating an index for a city underscore name uh, and then i will also write a query on which table so table name is person and then probably i will just give the column name which is called as city name so once you execute this probably you will be able to create the index so here you can see create index has been successfully executed okay probably i will not be able to see this index information also so i am going to describe this person column okay so here you can see that uh, city name something key is basically present over here probably uh, i don't know whether i had created this or not uh, anything that i had created if i remember i don't know i'm not sure but let me do one thing let me use another table so right now i had shown show tables okay so here i also have student right so let's see whether or i'll just drop table table student okay and i'll just try to create it from scratch for you so that i don't know what i had previously okay so i'm going to create a table student okay student and let's say that id int is there i'm going to just use not null on the first underscore name i'm just going to use var cap 25 i can put anything over here last underscore name and i'm just going to use var cap 25 and then probably the last column that i'm going to use is age int perfect so i'll try to execute this and probably create a table okay so if i now write tsc student okay so here you can see nothing is there let's now create a let's now create an index again uh, to create an index what i'll write i'll write say create index index underscore let's consider it for age i'm creating an index for age on table name table name is basically my student table and on that specific on that specific column and in this i'm going to use the column age so once i execute it this has got executed now if i go and see my describe students so here you are able to get this multi but you're not able to understand whether a new index has been created or not but this is the index that uh, how we basically use for creating you know so whenever we are doing any kind of query retrieval by using this age column it will definitely be very very helpful now with respect to index uh, uh, one thing that we can basically do we can also combine multiple columns so here i can say create index okay i'm going to say index underscore age underscore first underscore name so i'm basically going to combine these two features and i'm going to say on student okay age comma first name okay so this will definitely work i guess so here uh, this is how i can create it and you can see it has got executed successfully if i go and see in describe student so here also you can see that age and first name i basically created an index which is of this specific name okay so once this is done all you have to do is that the next thing try to drop that okay now see the thing is that now you insert any number of records and after that when you are retrieving it probably you will not be able to compare here right now but if you have millions of record you will be able to see that retrieving query time like how much time it is basically taking to retrieve the specific data now the next thing uh, if you really want to drop the index so you can write alt table uh, person i think the person or student it was student right alt table student and i'm going to just drop the index and just give the index name suppose this is my index name so once i execute it you will be able to see that it has got dropped 
if i want to drop the other index which is called as index age i will just say this one and remove this one right okay so it has got dropped uh, so i can just go and write describe student and here you will be able to see that mult is gone now with respect to indexes one super important interview question that you basically get is that what is the difference between index and views in my next video i'll be talking about views uh, i want to explain all the statements very much easily whenever indexes come always keep in mind the table book index that you'll be seeing table of index in the first page if you keep that specific example in mind you will be able to uh, tell a lot of examples to them and explain them clearly otherwise i've seen many people forgetting that right so i hope you like this particular video uh, i'll see you all in the next video thank you